Hey guys, this is Parvez. Uh, it's good to be back making videos again. Uh, I have been busy for the last couple of weeks, so I could not make any videos and answer your questions, but I will try my best to answer questions again. Um, today's video is about citizenship in Ireland. There are two main things I want to talk about. Uh, one is there was a recent, um, uh, you know, high court judgment that came about uh, making applications uh, for citizenship uh, it's something very important to know and second is about uh, a, you know I made a video last year which was a, explaining different types of stamps in Ireland uh, and that also explains sort of your eligibility uh, when applying for citizenship uh, and I think I want to clarify something about it which is very important for uh, a lot of people uh, to know so let's say that you think you're eligible to apply for citizenship based on all the rules uh, and you are ready to make your application today, uh, which is 15th of December 2019. Now, one of the rules for citizenship is that in uh, on the day you make your application, one year prior to that application date, you should try to be in the country uh, and have an unbroken residence. Uh, but there was an exception to it, which is you know, let's say there's an emergency back home uh, or you have to travel due to work. So you're allowed to go out of the country for up to six weeks. Um, so this is all fine. This is how it was always. Uh, this year uh, in, in around July, there was some chaos uh, about this particular law because one of the judge uh, in, in Ireland or a high court judge in Ireland uh, said that the person or the applicant should have an unbroken um, um, residence, which means the person should not travel at all in one year prior to the application date, which caused a lot of chaos because it means you cannot go anywhere, even if there is a family urgent emergency or work related travel. That is, is unreasonable or was uh, too strict. Um, but uh, last month, that rule has been uh, overturned. Um, so, you know, it, it means that now you can still travel if you want to, but there is, uh, you know, a law of up to six weeks. Uh, but, you know, as long as you can try and avoid and if there is no reason for you to travel, you should. Uh, it just makes it simple. Um, but there was a bit of chaos where if you're not allowed to travel at all, it makes it unreasonable. Uh, so that has been overturned now. Uh, so there is no confusion with that. Um, and second part of my video was based on the eligibility criteria. So last year I made a video, right, which was about, uh, you know, explaining different types of stamps. Now, if you don't know what a stamp is or different types of stamps, I made a video. There is a link in the description. You can watch it. Um, but a stamp basically defines your immigration status in Ireland. So every immigrant gets a card with a stamp. Uh, for example, if I come as a student, I get a stamp two visa. Um, if I am working, I get a stamp one visa and so on. Um, now, one of the rules or eligibilities for um, applying for citizenship is that you need to be living in Ireland for five years, is what I mentioned also in my, in my video. Um, but the confusion here was, and a lot of people ask me about this is, so, you know, does that mean that you just need to be living in Ireland for five years and you become eligible? Uh, so the answer to that is no. Um, the answer is that you need to be living in Ireland, but also working in Ireland. You know, you, you so what that means is, let's say I came here in 2014 and I came to study. Um, so I was on my uh, student visa, which is a stamp two visa for one year. Uh, after completing my master's, I went on my graduate visa when I was looking for jobs and I also worked on my graduate visa. So those two years, I was on my stamp two and my stamp one G, which is my graduate visa. Those two years would not be counted when I am applying for my citizenship uh, in Ireland, which means that I only started working after those two years with my stamp one visa. And from there on, every time I went on renewing my visa and went on my stamp four, I have to count those years uh, when applying for my citizenship. So this is just to clarify as some people asked me questions and had confusions. So you need to know if you're a student and if you're on your student visa or your grad visa, those years are not counted, at least as of today. Now there's one thing is 
you know, uh, two or three years ago, there was uh, a change to the graduate visa, which means now the grad visa is for two years, uh, which is great. Uh, it helps you find jobs and work. Uh, but again, there, there are no changes that have come out uh, about what happens if you're on your student visa and also on your grad visa for two years, which means you are on three years and when applying for citizenship, it's it's a few more years. Um, I will try and you know get more information on this, uh, but this is the latest that is uh, out there. I hope you find this information helpful. Um, uh, please let me know if you've got any questions and I'll try and answer those. Like I said, uh, I will try and make more videos. Um, so please let me know your questions. And if you find the information I share helpful, please share it with others um, and subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up. Thank you.